What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Valid Old Farm. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. I am your host, the Beast 93 And right toward the end of the last episode, we were trying to get uh, winter crops in the ground. And we did. Uh, we got our wheat in these three grass fields here. Uh, we're still, the temperature went, got a little cold on us, but we're still in the plant window, so we should be okay. It should still pop up next year. But, excuse me, um, It is the last day of It is the last day of fall here. Fist to get in the winter time. <clears throat> uh the guy that bought Lone Oak from me <clears throat> called me the other day and told me said, Hey man, if you <clears throat> if you ever decide to come back over on this side of the pond I could always use help on the farm uh, as far as I know he didn't <clears throat> he bought the farm from me last year but he just now moved in on it uh, he got all of his he let me told me that he got all of his equipment in uh, and set up and now he's ready to start doing uh, field work so I gotta go find a uh, local that'll take care of my pigs for me while I'm gone. And we're probably gonna be over there for a majority of the winter. Uh, I still haven't got any contracts for uh, lumber or wood chips or anything like that, so. Uh, we just kind of stuck where we're at with that. Watch out, chickens. I do want to ride over here to Mr. McGregor's <coughs> little plot of land here and uh, have a look at it. And then we are going to head to the airport and we're going to catch a flight and we're going to be off to, uh, to Lone Oak today. Still got a lot of trees to be cut on this map. We just... Uh, a beautiful piece of property here. It's going to be awesome cutting hay in this uh, next year. Uh, he does own some these on this side of the road too but he has not let us know if he wants to cut it yet or what he wants to do and then let's look at the map here uh what is, is that over there Why we left a piece of equipment over here. Ooh, we did. Looks to be like our saw head. <clears throat> our grapple one. Yeah, it's just a grapple. Huh. Have to come back and get that. But anyway, I hope uh, maybe we'll find something out about about midwinter uh, we do only have a hundred ninety thousand dollars 
and we've got 200 and 200, 232 pigs I believe to take care of so definitely going to need the money for the pig food and then this, you look at the the fourth and fifth day of spring we should get max price for them so that's when we're going to sell them I'm going to sell all of them except you know jockey inks of course and then next year we'll do the same thing if it pays well so but I've got to go back to the house and we've got to get our <clears throat> got to pack us a bag because we're going to be in Lone Oak for a few months um, hopefully we'll make a little money over there uh, he hasn't told me what my pay rate would be or salary or anything like that but I really did enjoy that farm, so I'm very excited to be headed back over there. But anyway, I'm going to pull in here and go get me a bag packed and eat a bite. It is 3 o'clock here, and the evening it's probably going to be... It's going to be morning time over there, maybe mid-morning, something like that. But y'all hang tight. I'm going to go get me something to eat and pack my bags, and I will see you when we get to Lone Oak. Oh, man, what a long trip. We finally made it to back to Lone Oak. Man, it has been a while. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but the guy that bought this farm is a multi-millionaire. So, there is no shortage of money. There's Mannings. Last I heard, old uh, farmer man had done moved on. Not sure if he still got the management position there or or what the deal is. Just a well done map. What is that up there? Ew, it's a massive Ferguson uh, 7700 on the side of the road. I wonder what that's doing there. <clears throat> the guy that bought this uh, bought this farm, his name is Jason Harrison. Um, So we're getting up here to the main farm. Looks like crops is coming up. Uh, I see he's done a little construction. This is where we had all of our stuff set up when we owned this farm. It's all been tore down. And shipped out of here. Probably sold for scrap. Wow, he's got uh, two Condor direct drill cedars. He's got two Great Plain cedars. He's got a flex coil cultivator and two horse tiger. What are they? I know it's a horse. Horse tiger 10LT. 
I see he's got his uh, headers over here. I gotta remember though, I don't own this phone no more, so I can't just be driving around. Looks like he's home, so I'm gonna go in here and talk to him for a minute and see what he's got planned for, see what he wants us to do, and I'll be back out here in just a little bit. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, so let's get back in our truck. The first thing he wants us to do is to go get that Massey Ferguson 7700 off the side of the road. Um, but he doesn't have a trailer, so he said he was going to call up to... Uh, call up the Mannings and have one uh, go ahead and make the uh, the payment and he said then bring the tractor back to the farm put it back in the shop and then he wants this field right here field 35 and field 30 he wants plowed up and combined together um, I guess he just recently bought field 30 and it's got wheat in it and he, I, I left him all the wheat that I had in here. It's been in the grain bin for over a year or since last year and uh, apparently he just wants to go ahead and plow this in because it needs it and to combine these fields together and get it planted we're in the planting season for everything uh, but that's just the, the plan right now but I'm gonna go to Manning's and get this uh, trailer and go pick up the tractor and I'll see y'all back down here at the farm we got the tractor and the trailer and we are fisting to be back at the farm here. And I have been talking to Jason on and off a little bit. And uh, basically what it is is he's wanting to hire a farm manager. And he thought, well, since we own this farm before him and we know just about everything there is to know about it. He wants to hire me to do it. The only problem is we just acquired the farm, the valley, the old farm from Mr. Oliver. Uh, so I'm kind of in a pickle because I love both maps. So they're both awesome. Very well done. Uh, wow. Look at the new haul and stuff. Must be a new haul kind of guy. He did say he had two special edition challengers in here, and I see him. He's got a green one and a black one. And then he's got this Massey Ferguson here, and he's got uh, a 5600. And. Crap, I can't think of the other one. It's a smaller one. The drain dry grain dryer is going. This one right here, the Massey Ferguson 4709. But anyway, uh, so what do I do? Well, I was thinking, you know, usually when it gets winter time over there, it's starting to get to uh, late spring, early summer over here. Uh, and this guy, he he's a big uh used to be he's a big cattle rancher um from wyoming and he don't really he hadn't really done too much with arable farms but he decided he'd get into it so he bought this farm and he bought the farm in oregon springs now i won't have anything to do with oregon springs uh, he's got somebody else doing that. 
Um, but his plan is to buy. He wants to buy a whole bunch of cows for this farm. It won't have any more animals. It won't have sheep or nothing because he's not in it for the money. The man's got plenty of money. Uh, he just, that's what he's used to, but he's always done beef cattle. I think he had, I think he told me he had like 30, 3,500 head on his ranch in Wyoming. He wanted to change the scenery. So he sold that 3,500 head, you know, sparingly, you know, on and off when the, when the prices was right. And, uh, and he bought this place for me. Of course I had it for sale for cheap. I think we sold it for 2.5 million or something like that. 2.8 million, something like that. <laughs> But anyway, let's get this truck and uh, get it out of the way. And then we will get started here. So it looks like I'll be on the Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, for a majority of it. And during the winter time over there, I'll be over here for spring because it'll be late spring like it is now going into early summer if once he gets his he starts getting cows and stuff then summertime is going to be busy with hay uh, as far as crops go we'll see apparently he already knew what he wants to do because he's already got his combines his headers he's going to be doing corn obviously uh, corn and I believe he said he had two sugar beet harvesters back here in the back ah uh, yeah he's got two ropas back here there's a semi there's the chrome big M I uh, still got all that silage in there from when I was here, so that'll be good to help him get started. What is that wheat? Uh, don't say, but it looks like wheat. I tried to dump in there, but it was too. It was already full because I think it's maxed out at two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, and the prices ain't ain't that great, to be honest. But like I said, he don't need the money. He's just doing it because he loves to do it, I guess. Uh, he's got a Brent grain cart here. A Star uh, Imperador, I think. This this one here is pretty neat. It's got the sprayer and the solid fertilizer all in one and self-propelled. So that'll come in handy. Uh, here's is the limited edition Black Challenger and the limited edition Green Challenger. And then what does he got here? He's got a, a T7 there. So T8, T8, and then he's got a T9 over there. Uh, da, 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 da. So first thing we need to do is get a tractor here. What shall I take? He said we could use whatever we wanted to. Uh, so I think for this job we're gonna be plowing. I think we'll just use the uh we'll use this guy here. It's got plenty of fuel in it. 
Alright, that's loud. I need to turn down my volume real quick. Well, it's all down. Maybe my headset's too loud. There we go. <coughs> Probably what we'll do is we'll just get this plowed up today and and then next time we will uh, we'll see what's on the agenda next. I know he wants to replant all this stuff here that I had cleared out because uh, his field's going to be on this side of the uh, side of the road here. So we'll go up here. And I've been talking a lot this episode and the last ep oh crap, there's a pole right there. Talking a lot last couple episodes. So we are gonna speed this up and turn on some music. It is good to be back on Lone Oak. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I am. And let's get to it. Hmm, well, let's see here. I don't want to do too much and end up cutting too much, but I don't want to, I don't want to end up cutting into my road here, so let's
right, guys. Well, we got half the field done here. Um, shouldn't take much longer. We'll have it done. I'll go talk to Jason. Maybe having a little trouble. Um, might have to end up doing one field at a time. Uh, but I think that's going to be where we ended at here. Um, next time we should be ready to plant. Thank you. Yep. Ground temperature is up on everything, so we'll be able to plant. Uh, he did tell me uh, corn and soybeans with a wheat <clears throat> with a uh, actually no it's going to be a corn soybean some flour uh, rotation along with some wheat so and then sugar beets for our root crop or for his root crop I forget that I don't own this phone anymore it's kind of sad really but uh, anyway thanks for stopping by hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave us a like uh, leave us a comment in this in the uh, section below if you had subscribed to the, subscribe to the channel go ahead and do that as well and hope you guys have a great day i am the beast 93 and we'll catch you on the next one y'all take it easy